Come ye by the salmon fishing, come ye by the ropery, saw ye my dear sailor laddie sailing on the raging sea. I come by the salmon fishing, I come by the ropery, I saw your dear sailor laddie sailing on the deep blue sea. By the salmon fishing, come ye by the ropery, jiggles up the salmon bothy every Friday virtually. And it's good evening from her. And it's good evening from him. Hello. This is Lorna and Derek Summers being MCs for Friday night at the Salmon Bothy. We're MCing from our conservatory. Isn't that grand, Derek? <laughs> Sounds good. The sun is beaten down, but a wee minute ago it was chucking rain. But we think that you're going to really enjoy this. So we've got quite a selection of regulars from the Salmon Bothy and quite a number, well, a couple of guests and things from the archive. We've got music and song and poetry. So it's going to be a very relaxing evening. So sit back and enjoy. And we'll kick off Alana giving a little story about her grandma's bin. It's nae, it's nae, it's nae, it's, it's a poem. And I've lost my page. I keep really saying sorry. to her, a poem is a story that <laughs> rhymes. <laughs> there you go. Oh no! I well, should have had to open at the well, page. Well, she looks for the page. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh. We're good to go. <laughs> right. We're ready. Th this is uh, a poem by June Imbry. A lot of you'll know her uh, as the author of The Quine That Did A Strip at Inverurie, but she actually wrote quite a lot more than that. She was really quite prolific and very funny. If you get heard of this book, The Best of the Tory Quine, I'm sure that you'll really enjoy it. But anyway, this is the story of Granny's Bucket. Ida Smith met Betty Clark one morning in the green Says Ida Smith to Betty Clark, Hey, can far I've just been? I've been thrown at Bobby's granny's. Oh, what a state she's in. Would you believe that somebody's gone and pinched a rubbish bin? She got it up to copy, split new and paint it black, and they delivered it on Monday, and she put it round the back, and she filled it up with peelings and ashes fair grate, and she left it for the scaffies to collect at half past eight. Well, on Tuesday morning, sharp at nine, she has a cup of tea and takes a look at her P&J and starts out round to me. Well, she's just about to out the door when she minds her bin and she thinks, they lay empty, didn't know, I better go and take it in. So, she walks along the lobby and she opens up the door and the pavement standing empty. The bucket is no more. So, Rune she comes to me and floods her tears and says, Ida, it's a war. Well, I thought she meant her bunchy. It's not been well at all. I says, oh, granny, if it's her day. She says, my rubbish bin's been took. I says, nay, your brand new bucket. She says, I have had a look. I've hunted round the barky and up the road and now, but I can't find it nay place. Somebody's taken it away. Well, Betty, I was furious. I says, Granny, leave it to me. I'm going run to tell the bobbies and we'll see if it they can do. So I marches to the station and I asks to see the boss. And he says, Ida, what's around with you? Have you had a grievous loss? And I says, Dinner, you get cheeky. 
and prepare to talk this doon. Our grannies had our bucket pinched early this afternoon. And he says, Hey, have you gone off your head? Have I no more to do than worry about buckets for the chief of the CID? I says, Hey, man, didn't you get like that? I mind when you was just three. And you and your family bade across the road for me. You was heeded for Craig Inches. That's a jail. You was sick a bloomin' feel. So did you get big with me? Because I can you too wheel. And he says, I'm up to here and work. He says, but I'll tell you if it'll do. I'll put my best man on it. Now, I want and let my be. So, in comes his little Bobby, and he takes out his little book, and he says, About the missing bin, can you tell me how it looked? And I says, Like any other bin, you can see him any day. It was black and it had a handle. Now, what more can I say? And he says, that won't assist me much. And his face started looking glum. So I says, well, loan, for fit it's worth, it was aluminium. You'd have thought that he'd heard for Santa. He just went over the moon, and out he goes like Sherlock Holmes to question half the tune. Well, me, I heads for Granny's. And when I got off the bus, I sees this crowd around our door, and I says, oh, fits the fuss. Then I up pipes Jimmy Thompson, that's him for up the stairs, and he says, I went round to number 40, because I thought I'd find it there. On cheeky kids and Lizzie's had taken it for a laugh. But dinna you worry, Granny, cause I seen tilt em off. I says, wait till I get my hands on them. They're just getting out of the score. They've got my black affront it now. I'll be fair to cross the door. There's half a lodge walk, that's the part the bobbies used to bite, eh, out looking for that bin. If they come across in like it, they'll be hauling somebody in. So, Betty, do's a favour till they start on something new. I'm hiding for the bobbies. Can I come and bide with you? <laughs> and that's the end of poor old Granny's bucket. I'm glad you got it back. Well done, Lorna. If you get the Aberdeen tongue. Right, we'll move on to... Bill Gray, and he's going to take us back to Days of the Whalen to farewell to Turv Laffey. Here's one of my favourite whaling songs, Farewell to Turv Laffey. Farewell to Turv Laffey, a Jew Mormon hill, and the dear land of Crimin, thy biddy farewell. I am bound now for Greenland and ready to sail In the hope to find riches a hunting away Adieu to my comrades for a while we was spared And likewise true love a fair one my hair the cold ice of Greenland, my love, it won't chill. And the longer my absence, the more loving she'll feel. Our ship was well renewed and ready to sail. Our crew, they are anxious to follow the whale. Where the highs will do float and the stormy will blow And the land and the ocean is covered with snow Or the cold coast of Greenland is barren and bare 
Nesi tegn og hamestu sammen og der Han det bærs det sin smittli og mountain en del Han det røs det har bare litt i seng til det vil Let us need habitation for a man to live there And the king of the country is a fierce green and bear And there'll be no temptation to tarry on there We are ship and we're full, it's homeward repair Fair will to tell what he had you And the dear land of Kremen, thy biddy farewell. I am bound now for Greenland and ready to sail. And the hope to find riches a hunting away. Okay, thank you, Bill. That was just really great. When I see the sign to Tarwathi, I will think of you. Now, we're moving on now to from our archives. Uh, this was, is a clip that was taken at the Shuri Inn, and it was Ronan and Neil who are part of Moonshine Madness, and they're going to sing with full gusto, full some br prison blues. Hope you're going to join in. <laughs> Trader come, she's coming down the bend. Well, I ain't seen the sun shines. I don't know where I'm stopping for some prison. Time is dragging on, and that train keeps going. Well, I'm a sand on. Well, when I was a young boy, my father told me, son. I'll always be that good boy and stay with my guns But I shot a man in Reno just to watch him die And I hear that noise of whistle I hit my head with mine It's a fancy dining car. They brought me drinking coffee. It's for the fancy bars. I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But them people keep on moving. That's what tortures me. If they bring me from this prison, if they swear the train is mine, I better do it on the little crew down the line. Right for the pulls of prison, that's where the party was saved. And I had to take that noise and whistle, well, my blues are late. Chances. I don't know when, but I'm stuck with boys in prison. Time keeps dragging on. And that train keeps going. Way down to San Antonio. And that train keeps going. Way down to San Antonio. And that train keeps going. Nothing like a bit of the old blues. Now, we're going to 
change slightly and we're going to move on to Debbie and Paul and Mike. And if you look closely, you'll see Debbie's twin sister. Either that or she's got a split personality. But over to you and they're doing following the heron home. The back of the winter is broken And lightning is lost by the door The seeds of the summer have spoken In gallons of blue on the shore By night and day the sport and play and delight as the dawn dances over the day. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away, and will follow the In darkness we cradle our sorrow and stoked all our fire. These bones that lie empty and hollow are ready for gladness to cheer. By night and day, the sport and the play and delight as the dawn dances over the bay. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away and the follow. So long they sing of the sound And the snow-scented sounds of yarn While the north wind delivers its sound Of ice and salt water and stone Oh, by night and day The sport and the play and delight as the dawn dances over the bay, sleep blows the breath of the morning rain, and we follow them. By night and day, we sport and play and delight as the dawn dances over the bay. Sleep blows the breath of the morning away when we follow the I love Follow the Heron Home. It's when I carried Paul's once. 
I think that I would maybe like that played on a special occasion. <laughs> do, you, do you think you can arrange that then? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're moving on now to uh, Fair Cricket. And they're going to sing No Roots. Lots of you'll know the two quines. They're such a great laugh. It's so full of gusto and energy. I just love them. I want to introduce them as El Tricket, which is maybe okay, because El Tricket would imply that they were naughty ladies, and I think that that's maybe would describe them quite well. So over to you, Fair Tricket. Cool cats, kids. That'll do. Hi. Welcome to another set up. And we're doing something different. Percussion. We found percussion. Because in isolation, you find all the instruments you want. <laughs> Including these bad boys that are about 12 years old. <laughs> so we thought this is going to be a great idea to whip things out and then put it on the internet. Ta-da! We're going to attempt to cover um, No Roots by Alice Martin. It's a banging tune if you don't know it. But like, I would recommend you listen to the original. Because I don't know how well this is going to go. <laughs> Uh, well, it's, uh, that's also, it's not something we would normally cover, so we, we're just doing a whole different, a whole new thing, vibe. It's probably not going to last long, fear not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also going to have to do this on my phone, because I have a lot of records. But don't judge me, or hate on me. We are hashtag professionals, <laughs> reading it off my phone balanced against a candle. Okay, yeah! <laughs> Good start. Digging holes and hiding things inside them When I grow old I won't forget to find them I've got memories that travel like gypsies in the night
Thanks, girls. That's just great. Always good for a laugh. Now, we'll get a bit more traditional, and we've got Doug Hay going to sing for us, and he's going to tell us about Briggy's Grass Park. Over to you, Doug. No, no. A wee song for you today. It's all about Tommy Reid. Uh, after the song God or Briggy's Grass Park. And he has a wee altercation with Jasper the Bull when he's out spreading mole heaps in, in the park. So here we go. New Briggy's Gas Park was a mess with the moles and the nouts met was cut down be half. With the weather being dry, the gas ate in sincere to keep them in met was a chaff. So they got Tommy Reed, a stout half chill, to scatter the heaps we a spud. The park it was big, twenty acre and mere, and the heat nearly drove Tommy mad. He took out his reed hunky to daft his wheat brew, but that was his undoing figs. For Jasper the bull, we his tail in the air, was already brought up with the clegs. The bull lord his heed wi' a snort and a blaw, his feet spray and sods in the air. Tommy threw down a spad eye and took till his heels, for he kent he had nae time to spare. He took out through on park like the speed a lacht, just like he'd been shot for a gun. But Tom was nae greenhorn at runnin' ye ken, for the half mile at strachin he'd won. Nu he just had a hech pikey pale and to loup, and he cleared it just like a deer. But he barely had hecht, and he did na clear fracht, leaving half o' his sark on the weir. Tommy thought he was safe, but yon ball cleared a tee, Tom's troubles were nae at an end. We are roar like thunder, and it's nose to our stem jets. Yon bolt door after Tom like a train. He would mark for the stead and just nae far awa, fin until his heat come a plan. If his legs would ha doot, but we'd faith he'd ha doot, he would dive heat first until the dam. Pitter pat, pitter pat, the bull hard on his heels. He was gaining yon murderous beast. But yon gypsy was wrong with the lines in his horn, when she said he'd see eighty at least. In the quine he was talking till the pictures at nacht that he'd promised to meet that eight sharp. Should be guy disappointed when she heard the news, I and him may be learning the harp. But just at that instant the ball had its mark, Tom's buttocks were hit we a butter. He rose in the air I some six feet and mere, and come doon we a splash in the water. All Jasper looked on we disgust in his e, and sign he turned slowly awa. Tom thought he's a runner, He's just a big court, in fact, he's no sportsman of all. Now that's how we tell me reading his altercation with Jasper. I hope you enjoyed that, in. Talk here, now, Abdi. Thanks, Doug. Smashing, as always. We're about to have a, a guest and another traditional singer. Although we've heard that he hasn't been too great lately, we we heard through the grapevine that he had a nasty accident, fan off a ladder. Hope we're feeling better now, Alan Taylor. I'm getting ready for this this song. We hope that this isn't from your personal experience. This song is by the bright shining light of the moon, Alan Taylor. Hi, I hope everybody's well. We'll sing a song, it's a wee comic song about the perils of uh, not trying before you buy and when you get to uh, find a partner. So. In the body to nowhere I was holiday and there 
When the roses on the thistles were in bloom, when a lassie passed me by, we a twinkle in her eye by the bright shining light o' the moon. It was true love at first sight, and well a mind the night, when we began to cuddle and to spoon. We were married then and there, in a week or do not dare, by the bright shining light o' the moon. Well, I'd squandered a do dear him we had to go. Oh, what a way to spend a honeymoon. There was no fire in the grate. You looked up through the slates at the bright shining light o' oh, the moon. Now when she went up to bed, ach, I just sat there and read. But what a shock when I got to her room. I for her on a peg was a great big wooden leg by the bright shining light o' oh, the moon. Now mere trouble lay in store, for when she began to snore, the blankets they get fleeing round and round. I am there upon the chair, with her teeth and golden hair by the bright shining light o' oh, the moon. Then she turned out wee a sigh. Ah, she took out her blue glass eye. The other was a funny shade of green. And I near jumped to the mouth when she took off her rubber lips by the bright shining light o' oh, the moon. She said, come out oh, to bed, afore I lose my head. She grabbed my run about my dressing goon. But I slept upon the chair, I will. Mr. Hair was there by the bright shining light o' oh, the moon. So young man took my advice, look your sweethearts over twice, for they're out to catch a fine young groom. Pull her teeth, her legs and hair, to make sure that she's all there by the bright shining light of the moon. The bright shining light of the moon. You may notice us bobbing back and forth. Well, trying to fit two of us into an iPad is not that easy, especially our size. But thank you, Alan. That was great. Now we'll move on and we're going to have Dick Elliott or Richard when it's Sunday. And he's going to play two or three wee tunes. Jack broke the prison door and Donald Blue and the Blarney Pilgrim. I hope they're all the planetings. Over to you.
Thanks, Dick. That was smashing, as always. Now, we're just coming up to an interval, uh, but before that, we're going to hear from Bob Sharp, who's going to sing Saints and Sinners Fly Like Doves. And when he's finished, it'll be time to go and replenish your glasses or hear a cup of your tea and just have a wee break. We'll be back in about five minutes. See you then. Well, hello again. How are we all doing? Uh, here's a wee song from the pen of one David Francie, uh, Ayrshire-born uh, singer-songwriter who now stays in Canada. He writes some great songs and this is probably one of them. It was Sunday morning in a town and I sat on my steps and I stared up the ground and I bowed my head as they shuffled past all the saints being called to morning mass way off in the distance they rang a bell way off in the distance Watching my TV the other night, there was a war on the left. There was a war on the right, and it's no surprise if it's us or them, for it's a long way to heaven.
sent some sinners. Face to face with the Kaiser afloat Heavily armed the cruisers three Honed in on the Gowan Lee Nay hope, nay prayer ye could tell at a glance Surrender was offered, they had nae a chance So the drug went woof, the gun went pop Nay surrender, nay retreat, nay stop Stand your gran, let's tack her on Give three cheers and let her run Full speed ahead and away we go Steaming through the strait, oh, oh, Tranto Barking mad went the mascot dug What gallon crew were a in a fug The drift that it took her muckle hits Austria's cruisers were blown her bits. Engine connacht, but nae oot a fecht. Gowly hurbled frae the Adriatic nacht. Tae liberty serve in another way. Rescue others and save the day. And the duck went woof, the gun went pop. Nae surrender, nae retreat, nae stop. Stand your gran, let's tack her on Give three cheers and let her run Full speed ahead and away we go Steaming through the strait, oh, oh, Tranto Oi! Okay, 
Okie dokie, hope you enjoyed your interval. Uh, we're getting away, going away to start the second half. It sounds like a great session. We're going to have, first of all, though, I shouldn't say though, of course, we're <laughs> going to have Derek. Now, Derek, my old man, is very keen on Robert's service. Some of them. <laughs> well, some of them, he says. Uh, the poetry of Robert, which is about um, the gold strikes in the frozen north. So, uh, lots of daring do going on there. He's going to do the poem, The Cremation of Sam McGee. Good evening, folks. Last time we were in the Yukon, I gave you the tale of dangerous Dan McGrew. Well, tonight... We're going to carry on with these men in their search for gold. And we're going to go on about the cremation of Sam McGee. And this poem, I think, is one of the best lines ever written. Which makes you think it applies to all of us in anything. Perhaps even our government. A promise made is a debt unpaid. The cremation of Sam McGee. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that make your blood run cold. The northern lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was the night on the marge of Lake Labarge. I cremated Sam McGee. Now Sam McGee was from Tennessee, where the cotton blooms and blows. Why he left his home in the south to roam around the pole, God only knows. He was always cold, but the land of gold seemed to hold him like a spell, though he'd often say in his homely way that he'd sooner live in hell. On a Christmas day we were mushing our way over the Dawson Trail. Talk of your cold, through the Parker's fold it stabbed like a driven nail. If our eyes we'd closed and the lashes froze till sometimes we couldn't see, it wasn't much fun. But the only one to whimper was Sam McGee. And that very night, as we lay packed tight in our robes beneath the snow, and the dogs were fed and the stars were ahead, were dancing, heel and toe. He turned to me, and Cap, he says, I'll cash in this trip, I guess, and if I do, I'm asking you, you won't refuse my last request. Well, he seemed so low that I couldn't say no, then he says with a sort of moan, It's a cold, the cursed cold, and has got right hold till I'm chilled through to the bone. Yet taint being dead, it's my awful dread of the icy grave that pains. So I want you to swear that foul or fair, you'll cremate my last remains. Now a pal's last need is a thing to heed, so I swore I would not fail. And we started on at the streak of dawn, but God, he looked ghastly pale. He crouched on the sleigh and he raved all day of his home in Tennessee. And before nightfall, a corpse was all that was left of Sam McGee. There wasn't a breath in that land of death, and I hurried, horror-driven, with a corpse half hid that I couldn't get rid because of a promise given. It was lashed to the sleigh, and it seemed to say, you may tax your brains and brawn, but you've promised true, and it's up to you to cremate these last remains. Now a promise made is a debt unpaid, and the trail has its own stern code. In the days to come, though my lips were dumb, in my heart I cursed that load. In the long, long night, by the lone firelight, while the huskies round in a ring, howled out their woes to the homeless snows. Oh God, I loathe that thing. 
And every day the quiet clay seemed to heavy and heavier grow. And on I went, though the dogs were spent, and the grub was getting low. The trail was bad and I felt half mad, but I swore I would not give in. And I'd often sing to that hateful thing, and it hearkened with a grin. Till I came to the marge of Lake Labarge, a derelict there lay. It was jammed in the ice, but I saw in a trice it was called the Alice May. And I looked at it, and I thought a bit, and I looked at my frozen chum. Then here, said I, with a sudden cry, is my crematorium. Some planks I tore from the cabin floor, and I lit the boiler fire. Some coal I found that was lying around, and I heaped the fuel higher and higher. The flames just soared, and the furnace roared, such a blaze you seldom see. And I buried a hole in the glowing coal, and I stuffed in Sam McGee. Then I made a hike, for I didn't like to hear him sizzle so. And the heavens scowled and the huskies howled and the wind began to blow. It was ice cold but the hot sweat rolled down my cheeks and I don't know why and the greasy smoke and the inky cloak went streaking down the sky. I do not know how long in the snow I wrestled with grisly fear but the stars came out and they danced about and again I ventured near. I was sick with dread but I bravely said I'll just take a peek inside. I guess he's cooked, and it's time I looked. Then the door I opened wide. And there sat Sam, looking cool and calm, in the heart of the furnace roar. And he wore a smile you could see a mile, and he said, Please, close the door. It's fine in here, but I greatly fear you'll let in the cold and storm. Since I left Plum Tree down the Tennessee, it's the first time I've been warm. There are strange things done in the midnight sun by the men who moil for gold. The Arctic trails have their secret tales that would make your blood run cold. The Northern Lights have seen queer sights, but the queerest they ever did see was that night on the marge of Lake Labarge when I cremated Sam McGee. Well, that's a wee relaxation. We'll now carry on something a bit less solemn. And it's Ron Garner singing about Archie Cathcart trying to keep fit. Well, I'll sing you a story o oh, Archie Cathcart, a fella that I took good care o oh, his heart, and I don't mean in terms o oh, romance and its issues. Archie always took care to avoid fatty tissues. He read books and stress, and he read books and diet, and he made sure his heart was well nourished and quiet. And when he found out that the fags were a threat, he said Archie Cuthcart smoked his last cigarette. And no, just himself he'd a smoke free abode. Fags were banned for his flat in Victoria Road. When his chain-smoking pal said that he'd been too hard on him, he said, you look after your in pericardium. When Glasgow south side the air does na come near, the EEC requirement for a clean atmosphere. So whenever he ventured outside o' oh, his clothes, Cuthcart wore a mask over his mouth and his nose, cos jogging was good for reducing your weight weight. He jogged everywhere, even down to the gateway, where he bought low-fat milk and high-fibre breed, then loaves that are covered with caraway seed, and fresh fruit and veg, and when he had paid, he jogged away him, with a bag on each side. 
When he heard of oh, the good-hearted Glasgow campaign, he signed up at once when he thought to delay. Cause about his blood pressure, he'd ne'er had a qualm. His height marked his weight to the last milligram. But the doctor consulting a chart on the wall said you're two points too high and your cholesterol. But there's no need to worry, just give up dessert. But I never eat pudding, said Archie Cuthcart. And he jogged away him in the depths of despair. After ten years on muesli, what could he do more? Then he read in the paper some scientists say, Your hair can be helped by two aspirins a day. And the very next morning the herald declared, Drinking wine with your meal can be good for your hurt. Eureka! cried Archie, the best way to beat them all Is a wee glass of buckfast and two paracetamol. But he thought since his whole life he'd aye been teetotal. One glass would na day, so he drank the hail bottle. Then on way his rebox downstairs he did flee, right in front of a bus, number 44B. It knocked him six metres, a terrible sight, but the autopsy showed his cholesterol was right. It was some consolation to his family physician that he died with his heart in such perfect condition. Now they say that small problems are sent here to try ye. They say that what's for ye will nae go by ye. If your name's on the bullet, ye will nae be spared. He was hot by a bus that was going to Cathcart. Pierre Archie Cathcart. That's again not doing for you are trying to keep healthy. I'm glad his heart was in good condition though. Okay, I've got a almost I've got a double introduction here. We want to remember one of our special friends of the Salmon Bothy and to have a wee look inside the Salmon Bothy. It's a long time since we've all been there. Uh, I'm going to introduce John Mackey doing one of his short poems um, in the Bothy, accompanied by um, Neil and by Mike. This, some of you who came to the Salmon Bothy regularly will remember that John, who's sadly with us no more, used to say, I need somebody from the audience to make whale noises, <laughs> or uh, I need the sound of the sea. But on this occasion, he was wanting Neil and Mike to make Spanish background music as he recited. So he's going to, to um, recite one of his poems to that background, and because it's these two guys who you probably know are part of Northern Shore, we're going to go straight into Northern Shore with Alison singing Matty Groves. Now, I really like Matty Groves. I think it's a really sp one of the special big ballads. Uh, I quite like that it is uh, the young man who comes, a, comes uh, has a bad time, <laughs> really. He succumbs to the wiles of the lady, but both of them come off badly in the end, of course. Uh, so we're going to wait to hear not only John Mackey, but Northern Shore. So over to you all. Thank you. The meal. Ha, 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 ha. 
and you and your finery. And then Lord Donald, he jumped up, and loudly he did fall. He struck his wife right through the heart, and pinned her against the wall. The grave, the grave, Lord Donald cried, put these lovers in. But bury my lady at the top, she was a noble pin. You're suitably refreshed or recharged, and I didn't mean plugged in. And we're going to carry on with the gaugers from the or the gougers from our archives. Now the, the original gaugers have been on the go from when I was a teenager, <laughs> which makes some of them pretty old, <laughs> of course. Arthur, who's the lead singer in this next number, is eternally young and he's giving us the Money Musk Lads. Thanks, boys. It's wonderful to have you all on record. It's, it's really good to have such notable singers in our archive and performing at the hall. Uh, moving on then, for a bit of a laugh, uh, we have a guest. It's Bob Leslie, and he's going to sing One Size Don't Fit All. This song is called One Size Don't Fit All. Uh, and I wrote it as a plea for tolerance in an otherwise harsh and unforgiving age. And it's got a chorus if you feel like joining in. Big bum Bella had a skinny little fella and his name was Mustache Sam. She shook like a jelly on a gyroscope and he looked like a matchstick man. People talked as they always do. Said who'd ever thought a team and up those two But Bella and her fella took a bow together And this is what they sang One size don't fit all Short, fat, skinny or tall We come in different shades, swinging different ways 
one size don't fit all. The other half of your orange might be a grape or a melon ball. Even ugly fruit can look quite cute, cause one size don't fit all. And that's the chorus. Sergeant Stan was a tough policeman and he lived with Sidney Shine. Stan played football on a Saturday, Sid liked dress design. Well, you'd never have guessed that they'd get on, but they both liked Abba and Celine Dion. Like the ancient Greeks, they'd sing the song, one size don't fit all, one size don't fit all. Short, fat, skinny, or tall, we come in different shades, sway in different ways. One size don't fit all, and the other half of your orange might be a grape or a melon ball. Even ugly fruit can look quite cute, cause one size don't fit all. Old Fred Slate was 88 when he married his honey bun. She'd just turned 30, talk kind of dirty, but they seemed to have a lot of fun. Well, his doctor warned about his amorous bride. He said sex was virtual suicide. Why not? Said Fred, well, if she dies, she dies. One size don't fit all. One size don't fit all. Short, fat, skinny, or tall, we come in different shades, sway in different ways. One size don't fit all, and the other half of your orange might be a grape or a melon ball. Even ugly fruit can look quite cute, cause one size don't fit all. Last time, one size don't fit all. Short, fat, skinny, or tall, we come in different shades, sway in different ways. One size don't fit all. And the other half of your orange might be a grape or a melon ball. Even a leaf fruit can look quite cute. Cause one size don't fit, you mustn't criticize it. One size don't fit all. That's it. Thanks, that was good. Now, carry on and doesn't need much of an introduction this one because it's Paul Kersley and he'll explain it before he starts singing it's Blind Willie McTell. Over to you Paul. Ralph McTell he came to Port Soy the other year thanks to the hard work of Bod Phillips and it was great sitting listening to him he was sort of reminiscing about his days around the Croydon area the same era where I was brought up, and uh, I could actually understand what he was saying. But his name, McTell, he got from the blues singer Blind Willie McTell, and this is a Bob Dylan song, and it's called Blind Willie McTell. Thank you. Listen to me. I've seen the arrow on the doorpost Says this land is condemned All the way from New Orleans To Jerusalem I've traveled through the places where many martyrs fell Ah, but I know no one can sing the blues Like Blind Willie McTill I heard that night bird calling As they were taking down the tent the stars above and barren trees Were the audience And them charcoal gypsy maidens 
can strut their feathers well Ah, but I know no one can sing the blues Like Blind Willie McTell See them big plantations burning Hear the cracking of the whip Smell them sweet magnolia blooming The ghost of slavery sleep I can hear them souls a moaning Hear that undertaker's bell Ah, but I know no one can sing the blues Blind Willie Mattel There's a woman by the river With some fine young handsome man He's dressed up like a squire Beautiful whiskey in his hand and there's a chain gang on the highway Can you hear that rebel's yell? Ah, but I know no one can sing the blues Like Blind Willie Mattel With God is in his heaven and you all want what's his But power and greed and corruptible seed Seems to be all there is I'm gazing out my window I've seen James Hotel Ah, but I know no one can sing the blues Okay, we're on to the last but one now. We've got a real favourite. Uh, his professional singing name is Deverell Fats Van Dyke. But to us at the Summer Bothy, he's Ur Graham, Graham Leg, the sound man. A real treasure, a very talented guy, and he's going to sing The Way I'm Living. There was a few comments. Where's your heart, man? I've got the heart on tonight. Just so as you can, it's me. It's not an imposter, it's me. A song about meeting the devil. Met the devil at the side of the road one day. Said it's hard to say. Now he smiled at me with a wicked grin. And he reached into his coat and then gave me a bottle full of something sweet. Says I'll fill it up every time we meet. Singing, Oh, mama, the way I'm living. Lying in the sinning and I just can't change. was all it took to get my name in his book now I sleep all day and I'm out all night I can tell wrong from right well you know I'd change if I could but being bad bell it feels so good saying oh mama the way I'm living can't change. Oh, mama, the way I'm living. If I ever get to heaven, it's a doggone shame. I 
when they lay me down I know where my soul is bound Oh, don't you cry, don't you weep Cause it's too late to rescue me Ah, but if you see the devil come your way You better get down on your knees And pray, singing Oh, mama, the way I'm living Lying and sinning and I just can't change Oh, mama, the way I'm living If I ever get to heaven, it's a doggone Stay safe now. And just before we go, we have quite a number of thank yous to say. We have to thank our guests, Alan Taylor and Bob Leslie. We need to thank our archives for Moonshine Madness at the Shore Inn and The Gougers Revisited featuring Arthur Watson from one of our hall events. They were fabulous. But most of all, we need to, to thank all our regulars who kindly submit such excellent material. So, here goes. Bill Gray, Debbie, Paul and Mike, Fair Trickett, Dougie Hay, Dick Elliott, Bob Sharp, Ron Garner, John Mackey, Northern Shore, Paul Kersley, Fats Dar Van Dyke, otherwise known as Graham, and the Spears family. Apart from that, I mustn't forget our most important people, Graham and Mike. So thank you very much, you magical technicians. We look forward to seeing everybody very soon. All right, and that just about finishes our evening off. So... We'll just, before we give you the last act, say thanks for attending, folks, and we look forward to seeing you in the Bothy sometime in the near future. And it's good night from her. And good night from him. Now, uh, keep safe, Abadi. Make sure that you're, you're kept well. And we'll keep singing, Abadi, as well. Because we're going to finish up with Tom and Emma Spears from the Spears family and they're going to sing and so will we yet. <clears throat> We 
people of the mighty providence and still we end. Let the clear start its course on him ever For the sun it will rise up from the moon head gain until the host be done and rain a bit. It's time enough to fled when we felt we only got up again and see will we get and see will we get and see will we get when we fell we only got up again and see will we get and see Yeah.